Hi, my name is Emma Rodenberg and this is my capstone project on the evolution of fashion from the 1920s to the 2000s. It is a photo series on fashion and as you can see here, I have turned it into a website. Um, and the website features the nine photos um, and each of the photos have a little blurb written under their era titles about the fashion in that decade. Um, the photos from the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, and 1950s are all in black and white because they did not have color film in that span of era. Um, which is really interesting because when you think about it, the 1960s doesn't feel that long ago yet. That is when color film started, which I think is really cool. Um, and I will link this website for you to look at and read when I hand in this video. Um, so the planning and steps I took to make this project was I had um, a notebook uh, personally for the project so I could keep everything organized and I did research on every single era that I wanted to take photos of and I researched um, the styles and what kind of fashion was popular, you know, dresses, pants, shirts, patterns, colors, um, how it evolved from the past era because, you know, in fashion um, and even in the world, lots of the things that we do nowadays, um, we've taken inspiration from the past, which is really cool. So I've seen a lot of that throughout my research. And I also did research on the makeup and hair trends of the decades because fashion um, very often incorporates hair and makeup as a part with the outfits. Um, and I also did I had a list of people, friends, acquaintances, mutuals that I thought would be good to model. And I kind of went through the list when I was um, looking at the fashion and the outfits I had to go buy and like research. And I was thinking of like, um, who would fit best with what era? And so that's kind of how I chose um, like who would model for which era. Um, the highlight of this project for me was being able to work with people and photography because photography is a big passion of mine and I love working with people too and so it was just such an amazing experience to be able to work with so many different people on this big photography project because it was just so amazing and I really enjoyed it. Um, what this project has taught me is that I do need to be a little bit better with my time management because I did run into some difficulties. Um, like I did run into the difficulty of not having enough time to take all the photos that I originally want wanted to, so I had to cut off two decades because of that problem. Um, it also taught me that when things possibly don't go the way you want them to, you just have to like calm down and work around it. Say, if this, if I was looking for a piece of an outfit and I couldn't find it anywhere, I just had to, you know, improvise and kind of work my way around that and try and plan the outfit another way. And yeah, just a lot of improvising because I ran into a lot of difficulties with booking shoots with people, like booking times because everyone is so busy because it's the last quarter of school and also outfits. I did run into a couple difficulties um, creating the outfits because some of the outfits have a lot of accessories because that was just the style of the decades and if I really wanted to stretch that far and like go all the way I kind of had to do a little bit in a little bit of improvising and not everything was going to be completely on point how I wanted it to be but it just had to be the best that I could make it um yeah and how did I overcome these difficulties kind of um just to improvise and kind of work through it with other people and when I ran into booking difficulties with people to find maybe to find other people or to plan ahead I did yeah early on in the project I was planning shoots like a couple of days ahead but I realized as I kept booking the shoots with people 
I really needed to book it a week or two in advance because of people's schedules and stuff. Um, so I think it's just organization and time management were my biggest difficulties and I really had to work around those. Um, and if I were to start this project over, I would have really rethought my my time span, obviously, and to do differently. I think, yeah, I would have reevaluated my initial idea and maybe fitted it more to my time span that I had because in order to present a really good photography project, you need to have time in order to like plan the shoots, plan what you want, like the outfit. The outfit to be, the scene to be, the background to be, like there are so many components um, that go into photography and in order to make a good photo you really need to hit like five stars on all of those and so if I were to start it over I would have altered the project so it was more manageable for me in to like put out my best work because when I do photography I really strive to put out my best work and with such a short time frame and such a big project I almost couldn't complete it to my best work which is not what I wanted at all um, and the skills that I can use from this project in the real world are definitely the communication the time management skills the like booking skills everything because it's a very I worked with a lot of people and um, that's something that you encounter like every day in your life in jobs in university like in schools even outside at stores communication with people it's it's everywhere and so being in a professional environment in photography eventually if I go into that I will definitely need to have very good communication with people, so that is definitely a very big skill that I can bring out into the world. And some unexpected things that I ran into in this project were, um, yeah, again, time management, but also it was some positive unexpected things where I found really cool items for the outfits like some things I wasn't even expecting like I did buy um, at the very beginning of the project I did buy a dress for the 20s um, but then later on I actually found an even better dress for the 20s which is what you see in the picture um, it's a flapper dress and so I ran into a lot of positive unexpected things while looking for the outfits because um, I would find something and then I'd find something better or I'd find something I could add and it was really cool to see um, the building of the outfits come together which was it was super fun um, some negative unexpected things that I did run into were um, you know not being able to shoot with the person I wanted to I did encounter that in one of the po in one of the photos and so I just kind of had to work my way around that and um, kind of, you know, like, rearrange my expectations for myself, and what else did I run into? Negative, unex negative unexpected things, yeah, it, you know, time management and stuff, and not being able to, even some, even with one of the shoots, I had a pair of pants that I really wanted my model to wear, but they didn't fit her, and so we had to improvise. Which was okay, but it was not what I wanted, so definitely, there's like, there were a lot of ways I could improve with this, like, um, if I had more time, I could have definitely, like, strove to make the outfits even better, and what I should have done is I also should have asked for my model's measurements before I went out to buy the clothing, because I did, when I went out to buy it, I did make estimations, on who I wanted to model but then those unexpected changes happened and I had to shoot with someone else and so the initial outfit didn't fit and so I really need to like I feel like I need to be more precise in the way I run my projects <sighs> yeah so there were a lot of ways that I could have improved but overall I'm really proud of myself for this project and it was really fun to do and 
I would totally do another photography project like this. And hopefully I will be able to in university. So thank you for watching and please check out the website because I worked very hard on it. Thank you.